A community in North Dakota is upset after they say video of a rowdy homecoming celebration at Linton High School negatively targeted an Oaks football player. Video released to Valley News Live shows a figure made to represent an Oaks football player with a jersey and helmet being hung with rope around the neck from a basketball rim and then set on fire. Valley News team's Veronica Marshall traveled to Oaks and spoke with the superintendent who says this is a lesson to be learned among high school students who may have taken things a bit too far. Linton students caught on camera hanging and burning a scarecrow with the jersey number of a minority football player from Oaks. Your first reaction is why is this being done? What is the purpose of it? Uh, and, and it is alarming. Now, Linton superintendent has apologized by sending Oaks a formal apology signed by Linton's football captains. Instead of letting one photo or a short video uh, run a narrative of the great people that I have here, we want to be proactive and, and respond to Oaks to ensure that they understood that um, that nothing, no harm was meant at all. And aside from asking to personally apologize to the Oaks team and the player believed to be targeted before tomorrow's game, that may be the only consequence the Linton team faces. In fact, the number on the front uh, is not a number used by an Oaks football player at all. The number on the back happens to be a number used by an Oaks football player. Are you satisfied with that or would you like to see more? I accepted the apology that was was given to us in in the letter and i guess it's gonna have to be up to them on what they choose and how they handle that still steinhoff says this is an opportunity for his district to learn something new we talked about our commitments which are growth mindset respect and genuine relationships and i believe that forgiveness has to fall in there and while forgiveness is important not everyone may be there just yet linton has had a long-standing history of having both teams on one side of the field and we've asked to be placed on the other side just because of the heightened sensitivity, uh, because of the heightened energy and because of the heightened emotions that we feel that it would be better for us and better for their teams uh, to be on opposite sides of the field. In Oaks, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. Steinhoff says he doesn't have any safety or security concerns regarding tomorrow's game and says the student targeted by Linton is eager to play and put this behind him.